Alrighty, Ben at 71287, back to you, and this time it's going to be night number 8 on my Saturday night reception. And I'm doing, of course, Jeopardy 2nd Edition for the PlayStation 1. And I got me a Skype guest in the form of Robo Angel 1. Alright, are we ready? Yep. Alright. And this solo game will be just me, no one else. So, let's get going. Sony Picture Studio. This is Jeopardy. Welcome to the Jeopardy solo game. It's just like a regular game, except you're on your own. There are no opponents. So good luck, and have some fun. Let's see if you like these first round categories. World Religion. Hey. Saturday Night Live alumni. Oh. Name that author. Quasi-related pairs. Hi. Colors in nature. And a look at our last category. Sticks and stones. May break your bones. But Liz, that won't even hurt me. Alright, and they're both going to be in quotation marks. So the answer is going to be six and stones. One hundred. It's where an industrious person keeps his nose. Alright, six and stones, two hundred. The man seen here was a master of this form of physical comedy. The man seen here. Oh, who is, um. Charlie. Hang on. Who is Charlie. Jap. Uh. I think it's Charlie Chaplin. Good answer, but sorry. Okay. Oh, Slapstick! Oh, okay. I forgot it sticks and stones, not Charlie Chaplin. Okay. Now, let's see what can I do. Alright, there we go. Sticks and stones. And the controller. Okay, 300. These springy stilts with pedals will have you moving in leaps and bounds. I don't know that one. So. Hang on. There we go. 400. Paired with fire, it rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah. I don't know. Alright, 500. 3 feet 9 inches high, 2 feet 4 and a half inches across, and nearly 1 foot thick, it was key to deciphering hieroglyphics. Uh, Saturday Night Alumni 100. In 1998, he hit the big screen as Dr. Doolittle. 
to fight. No, that's not right. Sorry. Oops. Crap. I forgot I was supposed to hit complete and then it hits at the M of the R. Uh. So I like 200. She's played Dr. Mary Albright on TV's Third Rock from the Sun. Now I'm gonna bounce back up for this. Who is Jane Curtin? Yeah. There we go. There we go. 300. In 1991's Father of the Bride, he played wedding planner Frank Egelhofer. Oh. Oh, who is, um, I think of his name. Who is Martin Short? Yes. Yes. As in now, I'm nice 400. This African-American comic hit the streets in Lethal Weapon 4. Not in the movie, it can't be Chris Wong. 500. This one time regular got an Oscar nomination for her role as the frustrated fiance in In and Out. Colors in Nature 100. The wildfire called Bloodroot oozes a poisonous sap of this color. Wildfire cup. Two hundred. As director John Waters could tell you, it's a common hue for flamingos. No, it can't be pink. Can it? I don't know. Alright, 300. Same thing. As far as we know, this heron of the genus Ardea isn't a people eater. Fine. It's the color of a venomous recluse spider, also called the fiddleback. What's it? What is brown? Yes, indeed. Brown recluse. 500. Colorful hornets of the genus Vespula. Name that author 100. The Great Gatsby. I went in and I know too. Oh, okay, gets me. Something Fitzgerald. Scott Fitzgerald. Definitely. It is got a Fitzgerald. Oh, oh, phew, come on like that. Well, I'm going to stop here for part one and get my heart beating for part number two.